to the Comlex Minute, please visit www.comlexflashcards.com for full lectures on osteopathic manipulative medicine, which will help you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Today's topic is muscle energy, which is a direct technique developed by Fred Mitchell, Sr. DO. And again, like in all OMM techniques, its purpose is to reduce stiffness and restore proper biomechanical and physiological function of the joints. In terms of how it works, well, a pull on a tendon actually sends a signal from the Golgi tendon organ to the spinal cord. At the spinal cord, we have inhibitory interneurons that synapse with alpha motor neurons, causing a reflex relaxation of the muscle. When the tension on the tendon becomes extreme, the inhibitory effect from the organ can become so great that it causes a sudden relaxation of the entire muscle. And Golgi tendon organs respond to the rate and changes in muscle tension. And so this is actually the pathophysiological mechanism in which muscle en energy works. The activation of large myelinated group 1B afferent fibers from tendon insertions reflexively inhibit alpha motor neuron to the muscle spindle. Again, initially you should make sure that you do a whole body screen and prioritize different dysfunctions um, according to the motion barrier concept. Now, Different patient positions are utilized to engage the restriction before asking the patient to perform an isometric contraction to pull the restricted segment into a new motion barrier. Here's one example in the cervical spine. On our section A here, the patient is rotated to the left to the barrier and then actively tries to rotate the head towards the neutral side, which is the right. The practitioner's right hand resists the patient's attempt to rotate the head to the right, and the more cephalad the dysfunction, the more the cervical spine is going to be flexed. And in B here, the patient is side bent left to the barrier and then actively tries to push the head towards the neutral right. Since this is a muscle energy technique that's direct, and all muscle energy techniques are direct, you go into the dysfunction. Now, the patient's the practitioner's right hand resists the patient's attempt to side bend and head to the right, which is the midline. Here's another section here. In A, the patient's supine and is having resisted abduction of both the hips. And in B, the patient's supine and you know, you're resisting the adduction of both the hips. And so you can apply this to various joints, including the, the knee, the hip, um, the arm, the shoulder, etc. The isometric contraction is performed in a precisely controlled direction um, against a precisely controlled counterforce by the therapist. Now, the result is improved spinal mobility without the need for any passive manipulation. Here are some other examples. In C, you can see the patient is supine and there's resisted extension of the left hip. And in D, there's resisted flexion um, of the sacral and pelvic um, section and this is a you know very interesting technique. Now in E the patient is prone and um, there's resisted hip external rotation and it's used to treat the piriformis muscle. So the muscle energy technique is effective for mobilizing restricted joints and relaxing hypertonic and spastic muscles as well as facilitating neuromuscular reorganization. Here's our references and again, please visit us at www.comlexflashcards.com in order to find complete and up-to-date lectures with questions. We'll be launching these lectures pretty soon. Take care.